clinical condition shown what this image is associated with now what you can see that over the face of this child a large black color lesion is present and this clinical presentation is of a giant congenital melanocytic nevus remember that this is a benign condition and it is present since birth and it is due to benign proliferation of the melanocytes and melanocytes you know is the color forming cells so these are generally dark in color and we are calling them giant because it is a very large lesion and it has been noticed in various studies that this giant congenital melanocytic nevus have malignant potential and this clinical condition can be seen associated with malignant melanoma so remember that the diagnosis here is giant congenital melanocytic nevus. A 40 year old female patient known case of ovarian cancer presented with following lesion shown in the image below difficulty in activity like climbing of stairs, getting up from the chair, combing hair. So all these are suggestive of muscle weakness. So muscle weakness along with skin lesions as shown in the image is suggestive of which condition? Yes, it is suggestive of dermatoma myositis and the skin lesions are sometimes very important like you can see Groton's papules which are generally seen over uh, interphalangeal joint or uh, metacarpal uh, phalangeal joint so here these papules are generally present then similarly there is shawl sign that is erythma or violaceous uh, presentation over back and similarly around the eyes also patient start developing erythematous or violaceous rashes which is known as heliotrope rash all these are suggestive of dermatomyositis along with weakness of muscles 26 year old man presented with erythematous plaque so they are red in color they are solid raised areas covered with silvery white scaling this is very characteristic of which condition yes psoriasis and it is present where the common site involved is extensors like knee elbow and back and on examination pitting of the nails is also present which is the most common nail change associated with psoriasis so what is the likely diagnosis yes obviously this is a case of psoriasis and these are the characteristic lesions that is erythematous plaque with silvery white scaling which is seen in psoriasis then a patient presented with itchy lesion so these are very itchy lesion as shown in the image below and if you see them closely all of them are very small lesions these are papular lesions so papules are present if you look at the color of the lesions they are slightly violaceous or purple in color they are very small papules and if you look at the shape of these lesions closely they are not exactly round but slightly polygonal in shape so polygonal and the lesions are not elevated instead they are flattened lesions as you can see this flat lesion so these are plain topped and they have lot of itching so they are pruritic so you can see all these p's are present here plain purple polygonal pruritic papules all these are pointing towards lichen planus so lichen planus is a condition where such lesions can be seen a patient presented with multiple painful blisters so these blisters these fluid filled lesions are painful and with erythematous base along a particular dermatome so they are present along a particular dermatome of trunk as shown in the image below what is the probable diagnosis so yes the lesions are unilateral they are along a particular nerve segment or dermatome and they are having these vesicles that is fluid filled lesions so all these are pointing towards yes shingles that is herpes zoster which is due to reactivation of varicella zoster virus also known as shingles in the next question they are saying that 45 year old truck driver 
presented with a lesion shown in the image below. Now, truck drivers, because most of the time they are outside driving these trucks for many, many days, many a times. So these are very prone for developing sexually transmitted infection. And he is having multiple sex partners. Okay, so both these are pointing towards the occupation as well as the history is pointing towards sexually transmitted disease. And in this sexually transmitted disease, patient is having such lesions over palm. So do you know of any condition where such lesions develop over palm? Yes, it is seen in secondary syphilis. These rashes which develop over palm are generally dark in color. They are hyperpigmented. And if you press them with any blunt object, they have deep dermal tenderness. This is known as Bashke Ollendorf sign. So Bashke Ollendorf sign is seen in secondary syphilis. So this is the answer here. A 45 year old smoker presents to the hospital with painless oral lesion. This is a white patch which is developing in the oral cavity as shown in the image below. What is the likely diagnosis? Now you know that smoking is a predisposing factor for various malignancies as well as leukoplakia. Here you can see that this whitening is only on the lateral part of the tongue which is also having these hairy projections. So this is pointing towards oral hairy leukoplakia. which is caused by Epstein-Barr virus and the common site is lateral tongue. So this is a case of leukoplakia. Unlike lichen planus where the lesions are not white but violaceous that is slightly purplish in color and there can be lacy pattern or reticulate pattern which is seen over the buccal mucosa. In candidiasis a white membrane is seen over buccal mucosa and if you rub it it can be detached and because candidiasis have a predisposing factor as diabetes so commonly whenever question comes on candidiasis instead of a smoker diabetic patient is written in the history. So all these are pointing towards leukoplakia which is the answer here. Identify the image shown below. In the image what you can see that this is slightly asymmetrical lesion and the borders of the lesions are irregular as you can see. The color if you see is variable that is different colors can be seen it is slightly more dark here slightly light here so variable colors are present here. Diameter of the lesion is large, it is more than 0.5 centimeter in size. And if you see, if the lesion is evolving or enlarging or it is elevated at places, then all these points are suggestive of malignant melanoma. So melanoma can be identified with the help of these points you can easily re remember A, B, C, D, E. That is asymmetrical lesions with irregular border, variable color, large diameter and evolving lesion.